Amen. I was asked to speak about stewardship specifically from the perspective of someone who has children to care for. So my short talk, hopefully short this morning, uh, will focus on being parental stewards of the children we've been blessed with. Stewardship in this regard is not merely financial, of course, but there is indeed a financial aspect, and though I will not be focusing on that this morning, the financial aspect in particular, I will just say that even if we are not able to give as much as we would like as parents raising children, let us strive to pledge more each year than the year before. Children are a gift from God. And giving of yourself, giving of your time, taking up your cross to raise up that gift to God is a sacrifice that is well-pleasing to him. What parental stewardship looks like in particular will be different in each family. Father Noah encouraged me to give a specific example from my own family. So I will share with you that my wife and I decided that raising our children in the Orthodox faith here at St. Philip's as a homeschooling family and incurring additional expenses to do so was more important than bringing in a second income. That decision certainly can make things more difficult financially, but the joy of raising our children in a way that we feel immerses them in this treasure we have, while at the same time protecting them from a host of atheistic, immoral, and materialistic influences that have certainly permeated our society today is worth it to us. And we feel, for us, being good stewards of our children demands it. People have different philosophies of thought when it comes to educating their children, naturally. Perhaps not everyone is in a position to homeschool or even feels homeschooling is the best path for their family. Perhaps giving up a second income is not an option, and thank God there are schools and teachers that inculcate a worthy and good education. Regardless of our particular path, all of us parents are called, as Orthodox Christians, not only to bring our children to church, but to nurture our little churches at home, instilling in our children as much of our Orthodox faith and values as we are able. The little churches that we steward at home affect the greater church community. We are stewarding children who will, God willing, become good stewards themselves. This is critical, a critical part of parental stewardship, and it is important, very important, for us to check our family's Orthodox Christian temperature on a regular basis. Is our Orthodox life at home cold, lukewarm, warm, hot, on fire even? Are we praying with our children and reading the scriptures with them? Are we talking about our faith, reading the lives of the saints, singing the hymns of the church, lighting the incense? More importantly, are we living our faith out as an example? Are we helping them learn how to navigate through an increasingly non-Christian world while keeping their faith intact? Are we working hard to protect them from images and material on the internet that would wound their souls? Pornography has become quite acceptable and ubiquitous in our culture. Let us take that seriously, brothers and sisters, and do everything in our power not to let the evil one catch us lazy or sleeping. For us, we have two systems in place to help us manage the computer within our family. One focuses specifically on filtering the internet. The other focuses on device time in general. And even with these in place, 
and they are solid systems, it's still a struggle. It's still a struggle. So I could not imagine having nothing in place, letting our kids surf wherever they want on the internet and use their devices as much as they want. That's akin to leaving them off in a vast unknown wilderness. A wilderness not only filled with beautiful plants and creatures, but also filled with poisonous snakes, dangerous plants, and hungry predators. Part of our good parental stewardship absolutely includes the digital landscape. Do we have a pulse on our children's friends and other relationships, making sure they are healthy ones? Above all, are we asking the Theotokos to be the protectress of our homes and to watch over and guard our children? In our family, we ask her to do so every day, twice a day, during our morning and evening prayer, and I encourage you to do the same. All of these efforts to raise up our children in the faith are part of parental stewardship, and this is hard work. But if we commit ourselves to this narrow way, then they will not depart from the church when they are older. I'll never forget visiting an Orthodox church in Pittsburgh once that had only four members left. Four. The priest, the priest's wife, the 70-year-old altar server, and his wife. They begged literally begged my wife and I to stay. Uh, they told me that their children and their children's families had moved away. The ceiling was leaking in the back. They had no money left, pretty much. They were a sinking ship. And I wasn't surprised to hear that the doors of their church closed not long after. God willing, by his grace and our parental stewardship, our children will bear the fruit of children in their own lives and continue to fight the good fight to keep the light of their Orthodox faith and our church alive. So let us as parents continue to fight the battle, continue to strive to be good stewards of our children's salvation. Joachim and Anna are great examples for us. They gave their child completely to God. And to the degree we do the same, to that degree our children can be bearers of God within themselves. So never lose hope. When we fail, we get up. We have God's grace in the sacramental life of the church right here to help us. We have the prayers of the saints and we have each other. Our children are precious gifts, and we will one day answer to God for how we raised them. On that day, my brothers and sisters, may it be for us as is found in Isaiah, here am I, Lord, and the children whom thou hast given me. Amen.